Jews up in the mountains? <laughs> well, excuse me. Uh, up in the Cascades. I mean that night is like is like some kind of dream, you know, a very blurry, very nightmarish, and the, I'm, I have trouble piecing it together. But we'll, uh, it's going to take me a while to work on that one. Okay. Um, I had uh, I had a as I sometimes had a bottle of wine in the car and was just among other things extremely. Just so I get drunk. an idea about timing. Well, Bill, I could co corroborate um, something on virtually every one of these. I mean, uh, uh, almost without a doubt on every one of these, in one way or another. I mean, that's the, the uh, uh, I don't think anybody doubts that, uh, that I've done some bad things. Uh, the question is what, of course, and, and how, and, and maybe even most importantly, why. Um, and... Uh, I'd, I'm not. Well, most of the people that are coming here are Jews. You know, I make no bones about it. I am looking for an opportunity to tell the story as best I can, in the way that makes sense to me, and the way that'll help not just you or the families, but that's very important, but also to help my own family. You see, I saw the look in my stepson's eyes yesterday. After he had been told for the first time that, you see, he's always believed in his heart. I mean, he always wanted to believe that I had never done anything like this. As hard as it may be for you to believe that, there are people who do believe that. Like, and there are people close to me who believe that. And to see the look in his eyes uh, confirmed my worst fears. See, he said, could you, he, he, was, he was just absolutely astounded. He couldn't understand, and he was writing me questions, just furiously writing questions. I could see that, you know, that he was, you know, how really bewildered he was. And I need to give him a chance to know, and others a chance to know what was really going on, what it was really like for me. Out of context, and I know you have a narrow focus, as you have a narrow focus given your law enforcement uh, perspective, and that's important for what you do. It's important that those questions be answered, but it's important for me that those questions be answered in context uh, for any number of reasons, but uh, I, I won't, but perhaps the most important reason for my own family, so that they understand it. But if they're only, they're only getting part of the story. They're only getting the worst stuff. You know, how, you know what's going to happen if and when all this stuff goes public, if all we did was just hit the who's and the when's and, and the body count. That's. I mean, it's. It's just going to. It's just going to be a. It's going to be bad enough as it is. I won't be there on the bush with you anymore. So I'm just tired, and I just want to get back and go to sleep. Okay. So let me just tell you, I. I know. just assume this is something that you just kept. I don't know that I'm going to see the headlines now, but... Uh, uh, Ted, there's not going to be any details. When, okay. What you told me about George Ann Hawkins isn't going to be known. i got parents out there that don't even want to know the details. Oh, I know. And but I he know. wants to know, yeah. and I want to know for my own good. Yeah. Well, it was incinerated, and it was just a, an exception. Where'd you incinerate? <laughs> Come on, partner.
these are things I don't know about you. Yeah, this is this is probably the, the disposal method of preference among those who get away with it. Yeah. The big price of being. Um, it's the most bizarre, bizarre thing I have ever, have ever been associated with, and I've been associated with some bizarre shit. Right. It's incinerating. It's you know? incinerating. Tell me about it. What the hell happened? Well, it I never want to tell this. I promised myself I'd never tell this to be friends with Woodrow. Uh, I, I thought that of, of all the things I did to this woman, this is probably what she would least likely to forgive me for. Poor Liz. Mm -hmm. In her fireplace. Uh, that's really not that humorous, but uh, in the fireplace at that house. Burn it all up. It's a lot of work and, and certainly very risky uh, circumstances. I mean, the kids come home from school and so we're wearing fire in the fireplace and it's warm outside. Do you ever keep anything in your refrigerator? No. No body parts in the refrigerator? No, well, that was not. Okay, before you mentioned you, you gave up the eight before and you gave me three more. And I don't know what three you're talking about. Can you help me a little bit with those? <laughs> 